So you just started streaming, but you need help setting up your alerts for when someone follows, subscribes, or hosts you. Well, I've got you covered in this video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up those alerts with either stock sounds and images or your own custom gifts and sounds. So if you like the video, leave a like down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, hit the subscribe button. It shows me that you guys like these videos and you want me to make more of them for you. I also stream live on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from noon to four central standard time. We start every stream off in just chatting. So if there are any questions I didn't answer in this video, hop on by the stream and we can talk more about it. So in last week's video, I showed you guys how to set up Streamlabs CloudBot, but I didn't go over the alert system with you. And it's really easy to set up and I'll show you guys how to do it today. I personally use Streamlabs for my alerts because it's super easy to set up and it does exactly what I want it to do. But you also have a different option called Stream Elements, which I actually have my merch store through them. They also have a bot and they can also do your alerts. I'll probably make a video in the near future going over Stream Elements and what that can do. But in today's video, I'm gonna be using Stream Labs, which is probably the most used one for streamers. But let's just jump over to my desktop and I'll show you how to set up your alerts for your Twitch streams. All right, guys, so here we are on my desktop and we're just gonna get right into it. So I'm gonna show you how to set up your Twitch alerts with Streamlabs. So go on over to streamlabs.com and then log in with your Twitch account and everything. And then on the left-hand side, you're gonna wanna click on alert box. And then this is what it's going to show you once you click on alert box. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you can see you have a bunch of different types of alerts that you can set up like a follow, subscription, donations, hosting, etc. And make sure that you have OBS open as well, because we're gonna have to link Streamlabs to our OBS for these alerts to show up on stream. So first and foremost, go up to where it says widget URL. Don't show this to anybody because anybody will be able to take that URL and put it into their OBS so that it can mess with your alerts. So just don't show that to anybody. Make sure you click on the copy button, and then you're gonna to wanna to go over to your OBS and then in whatever scene that you're setting up your alerts, I recommend all of your scenes. In the sources box, click on the plus sign and then go up to where it says browser. Click on browser, name it whatever you'd like. We're just gonna keep it on browser for a second and then paste that URL into the URL box right here and then click okay. Once you have that set up, go back to Streamlabs and then click on any of these test notifications. So you can just click on test follow. You never see it come back. And then you can see that the alert that's set up currently plays in your OBS. So make sure it does so that you know it's linked between the two. Also make sure that in your sources that the alert source is all the way at the top of your source list. Because if it's at the bottom or below your camera or below your gameplay, it won't show because it's below that layer. Make sure that it's the top layer in your sources. So back in Streamlabs, you're gonna see a general settings tab. These are like the general blanket settings for all of your alerts in Streamlabs. You can set your background color. I have it set to black. You have your alert delay for how long it takes for the alert to play. And then for your layout, this is how your alert's gonna be laid out. So I have mine selected for the first one where the GIF or the image is the top and then the text is on the bottom of it. You can also set it up where the text is on top of your image or the image can be to the left and the text to the right. Pick whichever one you like the look of, but for me, I like the first look. Everything else I have set the default. So reset stream label session automatically is disabled. Alert parries are disabled, profanity filter disabled, and custom bad words. I haven't put anything in there yet. But for those, if you're afraid of somebody with bad words or something in their username trying to troll you, you can put bad words that you think would pop up or that you don't want to pop up on your stream in this box right here. Also make sure if you mess with any settings, you click on the green save settings button at the bottom. Otherwise you lose all your progress. So I'm just gonna show you how to set up one of the alerts, the follow alert, because all of these settings are the exact same for all of the other alerts in Streamlabs. As you can see right here for follows, this is what it looks like. Subscriptions, this is what it looks like. Hosts, bits, etc. The things that we're gonna do to the follow alert apply to all the other alerts in Streamlabs. So first and foremost, the first setting right here is gonna say follow alert or subscription alert or whatever, uh, either enable or disable. If you want the alert to show up in your stream, make sure that it's clicked on enabled. Otherwise, if it's disabled, that alert will not pop up when somebody does that action, like a follow or a donation. Again, with the layout, even though we did it in the general settings for specific alerts, you can change the layout if you'd like to. For alert animation, you have different kinds of animation. Mine is a fade in, so it slowly fades in onto the stream and then fades out. We have a bunch of different types of animations for your alerts. So for example, if we click on bounce in, so after I save my settings and I click on test follow, you never see it 
so instead of fading in slowly it bounces in real quick and honestly i kind of like that so i might even change my alerts to that after that you have the message template so you can see that it says name has just followed the name is a placeholder for that person's username so i would keep that as is you can set a custom message to whatever you'd like but you can have it say something like welcome to the community username we're happy that you followed or something like that you can even set a specific text animation so that it's different from your image or your gif animation that you use so that the text pops in differently now for the image right here if you go over to the right hand side and you see select an image click on that and then with stock Streamlabs, if you're not paying for the prime version of it, you have a bunch of different default GIFs that play that are actually kind of cute in my opinion. I like this penguin a lot. Uh, I like the Pikachu one, but you have a bunch of different ones that you can uh, pick from. So if you don't have any ideas for photos or custom GIFs to use, just pick one of the stock alerts and then just go with that one. But once you have one selected, click on select and then it'll upload that. So for instance, if I click on Meowth, make sure that the check mark pops up and then click select. If we go back to my OBS and I click on test follow, you, never see it come. you can see that the new GIF pops up now. Going back to the upload menu, if you click on uploads right here, you can see all of your GIFs and images that you have uploaded to Streamlabs. Now, personally, if I have an idea for a GIF that I wanna use for an alert, all I do is I go to Google images and type in whatever that is followed by GIF or GIFs. So in this instance, I typed in office GIFs and then you can go around and see which ones you like. So if we click on this one right here, when it opens up in this window pane right here, make sure that it's actually moving. Sometimes GIFs don't move and they're broken GIFs. So just make sure that it's actually working. And then I would right click it and then open the image in new tab. And usually it's a GIF that'll open up in its own page. And then from there, you can just click and drag the GIF to your desktop and save it that way and then upload it to Streamlabs. But in this instance, it opened up Giphy, which was actually gonna be my second recommendation for you guys. If you can't find any GIFs on Google Images, I use Giphy as well. There's thousands of GIFs on here that you can find that you can actually use for your alerts. So if you find one that you like, all you have to do is click on the GIF and then drag it over to your desktop and then go ahead and open it just to make sure that it's actually working. So then if you go back to Streamlabs, all you have to do is drag and drop the GIF. So if I do that right here, you can see that it's out of the GIF right here. And then all you have to do is click on it, select it, remember to save your settings. And then back in Streamlabs, if you click on test follow, it should have the new GIF. You never see it come down. And then within OBS, if you want your alerts to be centered to your screen, all you have to do is select it and then right click it and then go over to where it says transform and then go down to where it says center to screen. And then it'll center that source to the center of your screen. So your alerts will pop up right in the middle. My alerts are dead center, but you can have them in the top left, right, wherever you'd like, it's your stream. So then the next thing that you can do is your sound. So the sound that actually plays when the alert goes off. So same thing, go over to the right hand side and then select audio. And then on the under the stock tab, there's a bunch of different stock ones that you can use. If you see a gold star at the top right of it, that means that has to be paid for using their prime subscription for Streamlabs. But there are a few free ones as well that don't have the gold star that you are allowed to use for your alerts. There's honestly not that many that are available to you for free through Streamlabs. So what I would do is I would go to this website called My Instance. I use this website a lot for different sound effects that I like to play and my alerts that I use on my Twitch streams. And you can see that there's trending ones in the United States, most viewed in the United States. You have different categories that you can pick from as well, like anime and manga, music, pranks, etc. And so for instance, if we click on games and then you click on whichever one you want. So for instance, this one. If you like that sound, all you have to do is click on the text right below it and then click on download as MP3. It'll download the sound as an MP3 file. And then all you have to do is back in Streamlabs under the upload tab right here, just drag and drop that MP3 into the window right here. And then it'll upload just like you did with your GIF. But just make sure that it's not an actual song from any music artist because of DMCA strikes. You don't want to get any strikes on your channel because you might get banned. So just be careful of that. Once you have your sound selected, you can click on sound volume. I have mine set to 50 so that it's not too loud for me. 
50 is what works best. And then you can set your alert duration. So for me, I have them set to nine seconds. It gives people enough time to read the username, see who just followed or donated or gave bits. But five to nine seconds, I think is a sweet spot. Now the next one you see right here is the alert text delay. So this will actually delay the text after the image or GIF plays. Now I don't really see any use for that unless you have a specific animation playing for your picture when it pops into frame for your text to come in afterward. But other than that, I have mine set to zero so that everything comes in at the same time. And then right here where it says enable custom HTML slash CSS, I have mine set to disabled because I don't have any custom HTML or CSS in play. But if you know how to do some basic HTML and CSS, you can actually just make your own super custom ones beyond what Streamlabs can do. So once this is all done, again, make sure that you click on save settings at the bottom and that you get the message alert box has been updated. Then after that, just keep going. Go over to the subscription one, donation one and host one and set all of your gifts and your sounds and like and the delays and then you're all set all right guys and that's that that's how you set up your alerts for when someone follows gives you bits or hosts your channel for them to pop up on your twitch stream whether you buy an overlay pack that comes with custom alerts you use the stock alerts or you use your own gifts and sound clips to use your alerts should go with your vibe of your channel and kind of express who you are so play around with them. And if you have any more questions that this video didn't cover, hop on by my stream and we can talk more about it. Stay safe and I'll see you guys live on Twitch.